Isaiah 14 is uh, 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 oh, the house, uh, probably. Like, not, not, yeah, but uh, uh, the first verse, something about the Lord and the slave. Oh, okay. Where you at? Uh, start from, uh, verse 19. You know what? Yeah. It, yeah, start, start from the top. Because it goes right into it. This is Isaiah. This is Isaiah chapter 13, 1. Uh -huh. It says the burden of Babylon. Uh, the bird, what's the burden? First of all, we're the burden of Babylon. <laughs> you know? We're, we're, we're a burden to these goddamn people, man. Us, 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 we, we, are, we are a thorn in your side, man. All right? That's why you got all these so-called Christians getting mad, coming up to the camps. Talking shit on the YouTube videos, we are a burden, man. All right, that's how you know we come in and spit out your house shot. We, we, hey, <laughs> hey, man, we they say they uh, they say the uh, 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 stone a child, yeah, man. The, yeah, yeah. What, what they say? Uh, yeah, there I go. Uh, damn. And the reason why we're burdened, according to Job, he said, "Who shall declare his way to his face?" We let we letting you people know that you're wicked, man. You're wrong, and this is how, and this is why, and this is the judgment for that, man. Hey, yeah. And that's why, and you, you people can't take it. He said, this is the combination of the light that come to the world, but men love darkness rather than light, because they deeds was evil, man. That's right. Uh -huh. So you got a motherfucker telling you you wrong. Nobody want, why do you think they killed the Lord, man? <laughs> and, and you and you know you're guilty. Yep. You got them meter mics, yep. man. You're guilty. Yep. All right. And you got to pay. All right. But yep. that, but that, but that. Hey, once that sentence is guilty, you go to jail, right? Yeah. Yep. Same thing. Your ass going to jail. Yep. All right. And it's called the kingdom of heaven. Yep. Your shackles and chains, man. Yep. My nigga say you going to jail now. Yep. <laughs> And he uppercutted that bitch, man. <laughs> that he he took that, that bitch from the he judged, he, judged. He, he judged that bitch, bro. He told you, you going to jail now. When he hit that bitch, you heard a pop. Yeah, yeah. That's just saying. Bro. I never heard a pop when a nigga, when somebody got hit, bro. Not only did he hit her, he uppercut her. Grabbed that ass. You going to jail That's that Micah right there, bro. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It says, Isaiah 13 1, the burden of Babylon, right, go, which, go which Isaiah, the son of Amos, I did see. Right. Did see. Read. Lift ye up a banner. So, so Isaiah seen this, man. He yep. said the burden of which Isaiah, all right, the son of Amos, did see. Read. It said, lift Guess what? We see it too. We see it through what? Those scriptures, yeah. man. Yep. All right, we got the vision, man. Yep. We see it. Go ahead. Yeah, it says, uh, lift. Ye up a banner upon the high mountain. Right, lift ye up a banner upon the high mountain, man. When you read the book of, uh, what's that, uh, uh, Psalms, man. Did, yeah. how, how do you lift up the banner? With what? The, the word? I think it's, hey, give me uh, Psalm 60, I think it's 60 and 4. Yes, yep, 60 and 4. Yeah, give me that real quick. That's the that's the banner, man. Us teaching this word, man. Yep. On the, highway, on the highways and byways, the way it's supposed to be done, man. Lame the right shoes. way. Go ahead, man. Uh, Psalms chapter 60 verse 4 uh -huh. and thou hast given a banner to them that fear thee. Yeah, you're right. The Lord has given us a banner. He has given us a truth. The men that fear him. Read. Time. Uh, that it may display because of the truth. Right. That it may be what? Displayed. So we, hey, hey, so hey, let's say if you go to, to a store, right? They got the mannequins right there with the clothes on. Right. What is that called? On display. Yep. All right. So what? So you can buy it. Actually, and scriptures, uh, and it says what? Well, buy the truth, sell it not. Yeah. We out here selling it. Hey, who gonna get it? Yeah. Who get it? Selling it to the elect, man. Go ahead. When they had up uh, stuff at the stores, they actually sell the display. Yeah. Because it's like, yo, this is the display model. It's cheap, but you know they can sell it. Yep. Uh, <laughs> yep. Uh, that was it. What you going? What, what did they say? love? What they love? All right. Damn, read. The, go ahead, yeah. go ahead, read. The, it says read. that they. Don't read it back from the top. Damn. Uh, Psalm 60, verse 4. Uh -huh. Thou hast given a banner to them uh -huh. that fear. That, that's a cut, too. Read. That, I, that it may be displayed because of the truth. Right, that it may be displayed because of the truth. Read. It says that thy, that thy beloved may be delivered. Right, that thou beloved may be delivered. Who's, who's the, uh, the, the Lord's beloved, man? Israel, man. Oh, when you read, oh, what's the Isaiah? I think it's the fourth chapter. The Lord says what? My beloved vineyard. All right? We are, oh, and also in the book of Romans, in the 11th chapter, the Lord also calls what? His elect, his beloved. Okay? Yep. Go ahead. It says, save with thine right hand. Right, save with thy right hand. Who was that? Yeah, how was shy, man? Save with thy right hand. Go ahead. <laughs> and hear me. And hear me. Go, uh, go ahead. Go back to, to Isaiah. 
Alright. Isaiah 13 and uh two. It says lift the upper banner Heard upon that, we found out what the banner was. Read. Upon the high mountain. What's the high mountain? America. Read. Exalt the voice unto them. All right, exalt the voice unto them. That's what we're doing. Exalt the voice unto them. Alright. It says shake the hand. Shake the hand. That they may go into the gates of the nobles. We doing that, man. Going into the gates of the nobles, man. Because the Lord said, uh, uh, uh binding, binding their, their kings yep. with fetters. Yep. And with, with fetters of arm. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Yep. With fetters and chains. Because we're going to get those leaks and they going into slavery, man. Like I was saying, this is a translation of kingdoms, man. Yep. Kingdom of kingdom, man. So God. So the scripture say the Lord, what? He set up, set up down one and what? He put up up another, man. Okay? And that's what, and that's, that's what's happening, man. This damn devil is going down, man. Go ahead. It says, uh, I have commanded my sanctified ones. Uh -huh. I have also called my mighty ones for uh -huh. mine anger. Uh huh. Even them that rejoice in my highness. Go ahead. It says, the noise of a multitude in the mountains, like as of a great people. Uh huh. A tumultuous noise. What's that song about? World War Three, man. Uh, 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 noise. Read that over again. It says, uh, the noise of a multitude in the mountains. In the mountains. In the mountains talking about what? These different governments, man. The tumultuous noise. And you hear that tumultuous noise right now. You're hearing the war drums, man. Somebody give me Joel real quick. Joel 3 and 10 real quick. Gotcha. All right? Mm -hmm. You know I'm all over the place, but there's so many precepts. You get, get to this, man. And that's prophecy, man. Okay. You know? Read it back from the top. It says, uh, Isaiah 13. Go ahead. You got it. Go ahead. Okay, cut. That's uh, the noise of the mountain. You start from that. Cut. Joel chapter 3, verse 9. Uh -huh. Proclaim ye this among the Gentiles. Right. Proclaim ye this among the Gentiles. Read. Pro sorry, the Lord is telling you I'm what this is. Proclaim. Tell right. Speak. Prophesy. Prophesy. See or not. All right. <laughs> not, not hold it. <laughs> Don't hit. Huh. It says, proclaim ye this among the Gentiles. Uh-huh. Among the Gentiles, read. Prepare war. Prepare war, read. Wake up the mighty men. Uh-huh. That's a tumultuous noise, read. Let all the men of war draw near. Uh-huh. Let them come that's, up. That's a tumultuous noise, man. All these mighty men coming to war, man. Coming, coming, coming down to what? To the Valley of Jehoshaphat. It says, beat your plowshares uh -huh. into swords. Go ahead. And your pruning hooks into spears. Uh-huh. Let the weak say I am strong. Right. These other nations saying, hey, man, we got the nuclear missile too, man. We ready to go to war, man. Let the weak say I am strong, man. Look at China. All right? Look at Iran. All right? Look at Russia. All these different. Look at North Korea. You know North Korea was weak as hell. Weak as hell, man. Now look at them, man. Yeah, they, and, they are a threat now, you know? And, 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 and what the so-called white man was doing back in the day, like the 50s, 60s, and 70s, he he kept those nations against each other. He kept them purposely against each other. He would uh, finance this faction or he'll support them. And kept the missile for himself. Yeah. Yeah. You know? <laughs> but now they're waking up. Like, nigga, you the, they waking up. This just said, wake up the mighty man. That, that's why you see all these militaries. Uh, 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 showing all their missiles, you know, marching, doing all this shit, man. That's that's prophecy, man. And that's displays of power, too. You know what I'm saying? Displays of power. Yep. Scripture, to, 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 to back up what you said, Kai, scripture to say what? The, the heavens shall reveal his iniquity, man. Yeah. So everybody, so the nations looking like, wait a minute, wait, it's not true, I'm mad at it. It's you motherfuckers that we got the problem. We got the problem with. It. And you, you know, know, and you know they they building up, they building up to it because yeah. World War World War One. It was either World War One or World War Two. You know what they did? America as a, as a display of power, of force, not to fuck with them. They sent their navy fleet across the world. That's why the that's why the navy. That's the that's when the navy first came up with the slogan, join the navy, see the world. Because the, the America, and I think it was under Theodore Roosevelt. It might not have been World War One or Two, but it was under Theodore, I believe. Like, oh, these y'all motherfuckers act, y'all jumping up. Go show them the navy fleet. Let them see that. But, but you know, hey, that's that's why China got a million man army. Yeah. All right. Just just for that war, man. Just for this very day, man. All right. That, that great and terrible day of the Lord, man. A million man. Yeah. Man. Number, number active duty soldiers right now in America is like 400,000. So I'm at the 400,000, we're going to get some millions, you know? Oh, that's all right. They're going to have enough. They're going to have enough soon. Trust me. 
Okay, drift. Go hit me. <laughs> right, go it says, assemble yourselves. All right, assemble, get together, gather yourselves, assemble yourselves, read. It says, and come, all ye heathen, all ye heathen, read, and gather yourselves together, round about, round about, read. It says, thither, cause my mighty ones to come down, O Lord. Uh -huh. Let the heathen be weakened. Right, waken, waken. Right. Let the heathen be wakened right. and you, come up. You see that? The heathen is waking, man. They ain't taking no shit from the mirror. Three. Let the heathen be wakened and come up uh -huh. to the valley of Jehoshaphat. To the valley of Jehoshaphat, read. Uh -huh. Hey, if I may say and that's that. And that's around Saudi Arabia, that area. Basically, what? That, that desert land, man. Because you read also, you go to Joel 2 and 20. Mm -hmm. Give me that real quick. Yeah. Yeah. It says, Joel chapter 2, verse 20, uh -huh. but I will remove far off from, Shlaki, I will remove far off from you the northern army and will drive him into the land barren and desolate. See, barren and desolate. What's that? The Middle East, man. Saudi Arabia, <laughs> Iran, Syria, all that land over there, man. All right? Three. With his face. That's, that's where America is going to be dragged. And that's where America is at right now, man. Right now, they're, they're in Syria and in other parts or, or in the Middle East, man, Pakistan and all that shit. But what they're trying to get into, they're trying to get into Syria to make their way into Iran, man. Yep. All right, read. It says, with his face towards the East Sea uh -huh. and his hand apart towards the utmost sea. The East Sea is uh, something about the, uh, the, the, the Red Sea, man. Go ahead. It says, and his, and his stink shall come up. Right. And Cause, well, why they stink? Because they're going to be destroyed. They stink, don't come up, man. That's Go ahead. And his ill. I got to get my map. Go uh, ahead. Oh, man. It says, uh, and his ill saber shall come up. Uh huh. Say saber, right? Yeah, saber. Saber, saber. Okay, uh -huh. it says, because he have done great things. Uh -huh. Fear not, O land. Be glad and rejoice. Yeah, man. For the Lord will do great things. Back to the third chapter. The Lord will do great things. That's the one who's bringing the judgment, man. He's having all you nations, all right, come into to there. To, first of all, he getting you there just for him to appear there to annihilate your ass. All right, according to what? Uh, Second National 13, 13 chapter? Yep. Uh, Revelations, what's that? I think that's 19 what chapter? You, you, make you know what I'm saying? Righteous. Yeah, make a war righteous. Well, you, well, you armies is going to actually fight against the Lord, man. Uh. All right? And, and, and his angels, man. Yeah, what it said, thither caused thy mighty ones to come down. Yeah, I man. was thinking that's them angels, man. Yeah. Chariots, man. Yeah. Those witches and the chariots are there. Where that great judgment is going to be, man. Yep. Yeah, Michael's going to stand at the... Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Michael the, the prince. Yeah, yeah, right, exactly. Michael the great prince. He's going to stand top with him, man. man. And you listen, they're they, they, they going to see the angels, man. Yeah. The angels is going to actually make an appearance. Right now, you can't see the angels. It's angels. Actually, it's angels encamped camp, around us right now, man. Uh, like, you know? Right. Yeah, the scripture say, uh, uh, what, what it Open say? Open yeah. oh, No, it says, uh, uh the, the angels are, 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 what, encamped? Oh, yes. Yeah. Yeah. That's, um, um, the, uh, right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, uh, it camped, it camped around them. Yep. The middle of the Lord. Uh, you know? I'm just getting my angels charged over. Yeah. yeah. So, so you, you actually got angels around us now, man. But you know, people is gonna actually see the angels, man. Manifest, you know, before they ask. I got that picture. Go ahead. Let me go back to Joel. It's gonna be some scary shit, man. You know, yeah, the angels gonna fuck y'all up, man. Because the scriptures say the angels of the Lord is what is it, a thousand of thousands, hundred, hundred, what is that? twenty thousand. Yeah, yeah, there's twenty thousands of thousands, man. There's millions, man. That's why you say what when you see the Son of Man coming in His glory. What's the glory, man? Him, him coming in that, in that angelic body and them chariots, man. All right? You're going to see the Son of Man coming in his glory, man. All right? See, how was shot, all right, who you people eagerly call Jesus, which is a black man. All right? So-called black man from the tribe of Judah, man. All right? And he coming to get in y'all ass, man. 
go ahead, man. This is Revelations chapter 14, verse 14. Because the brother said, uh... Y'all think, man, you, you fucking people, man. You wait, the Lord's gonna get his fucking respect. All right? He, no, no. Let me say, he gonna get his fear. I don't wanna use the word respect. You fear. people, you, he gonna get his fear. You people are gonna bow down like the scripture says, man. The scripture say every knee shall bow, man. You gonna right. bow, man. What is that That's old, right. uh, oh, what, uh, uh, oh, uh, oh. What's that connection with that kid? What do you say when I come to your town? Bow down. <laughs> <laughs> you niggas gonna bow down. Every, every last person on this earth is gonna, even us, man. Yeah, yeah. Happily. Uh. Happily, man. All right? Like the scriptures say, hey, you are, you are worthy to open the seals, man. You the reason we got this truth, man. I mean, you got some nigga talking about you don't got to worship your house with shot, man. <laughs> nigga, you out your goddamn mind, man. What is that talking about, man? Every, every, every nigga's going to bow. Nigga, that's worship, nigga. You going to worship our Savior, nigga, your house with shot, nigga. Because guess what? We know who we worship. Uh, uh. Talking about he's just our big brother. Yeah, he our big brother, man. Who should be worshiping? He also our father, too. Yeah, yeah. And our king. Anyway, anyways, man. Uh, Revelation chapter 14. Cause man, you have a shot, man. You, man, bro. Shit, man, that's what we looking for, man. We looking for our, so we need our savior, man. That's right. We need our savior, man. That's right. We need, hey, we need him, man. That's what I guess he, 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 he ain't just some, some, some regular yeah. angel, man. But we need, he, he's our salvation. Yeah. The scripture says there's, there's, there's no name, man. You can't be saved through, man. But yeah, how was shot, man? You can't get to the Father, but through him, man. Jeremiah yeah, said, I know my Redeemer is strong. Yeah. So what is these niggas talking about, man? How was shot is gonna kill you niggas, man. Uh, and all you people that, that make all them slap jokes here, yeah, or the, the, the way he didn't exist, you know, we gonna, you gonna find out, man. All right, when you crack the heavens. You fucking um, black conscious niggas. Yeah. A big black man's going, hey, a big black man gonna crack the sky. No, you gonna crack the sky and crack your goddamn head, motherfucker. Go ahead, man. This is Revelation chapter 14, verse 14. And I looked, and behold, a white cloud. Uh -huh. And upon the cloud sat one like unto the Son of Man, uh -huh. having on his head a golden crown. Uh -huh. And in his hand a sharp sickle go ahead and another angel came out of the temple crying with a loud voice to him that sat on the cloud uh -huh. thrust in thine sickle and reap yeah. for thy for the time is come for thee to reap for the harvest of the earth is ripe right you see the heart and it, it, it is right man you people are too dumb now to die <laughs> 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 Shit, man. You people too damn dumb not to die man Oh, you damn dummies walking the earth, man. <laughs> it's only right that you be put to death, man. And put, this? and put right back, and, and get put put back in your right fucking mind. Go on, y'all. Nah, I was going, <laughs> man, it's the scripture that say, if you see somebody and they not corrected, you say, it is a marvel if he lives. <laughs> oh, like, he has an apocryphal, bro. An apocryphal, an apocryphal, man, you're like, bro. you see a fool, like you see a, like, you see a foolish person, and that nigga like, don't die, you say, it is a marvel. <laughs> It is a marvel that that nigga, like, that is amazing your ass alive, man. <laughs> like, you you read that in the scripture, you be like, damn, because the Lord ain't, the Lord ain't so saying. People are some idiots, man. Yep. Let's go on, go on, go on YouTube, man. Go on Facebook, man. Go on any social media, or any of this shit, man. Walk down the street, you see about some goddamn idiots, man. Yep. Here you go, Lord gave you a beer, the nigga gonna shave it off, man. That's idiotic, man. That's stupid, man. And you know what's Why you just cut your fucking beard? It's, supposed, it's there for a reason, you dummy. Uh, and when you was a man, kid, when you was 10, 11, 12, 13, you always wanted one. You wanted yeah. one. Oh. Then, you get, then you get older to cut it. I, I, used to, I used to be in the mirror like, yeah. got one yeah. damn hell. Why though? Why? Because Put Vaseline masculine. on that mother. <laughs> <laughs> Why though? You want to be a man. Yeah, yeah. Uh. Man, you want to be masculine. Dumbass niggas, man. Yeah, real, man. What's up, Well, that was a right to the Joel. Go ahead. Who's that? Yeah, Bible was shot, Hall of Fame get it. <laughs> this is the Rock 1611. It said, and if there be one stiff neck among the people. Uh, what, what's dumb nigga, man? What hard hard headed, headed dumb nigga, man. Go ahead. It is Marvel if he escaped unpunished. Yeah, and, that, and, he, and guess what? These people are stiff neck, man. They're not going to escape unpunished, man. They're going to be judged. They're going to be destroyed, man. All right, does say some scriptures, and also, oh, does say us, does say us, yeah, how about you know the All right, the scriptures and the prophets, yeah. All right, your ass gonna be destroyed, man. All right, it's just that simple, man. 
You don't like it when we say, fuck you and your mother, okay? Mm -hmm. <laughs>